Hey my friend, welcome back. My name is Matt Finch and in this fit recovery video you're going to learn all about many different ideas that you can utilize in your own life. You might already be doing some but I have a lot of great ideas for you to be able to optimize your home environment that is where you live, your house, your apartment, your condo, your cabin, and how to not only have these resources or similar types of resources in your physical vicinity, but also how to actually put them in places to where you'll think about them, you'll see them, you'll actually use them, and then you'll create habits around them as well. This is a great way to be able to crowd out alcohol. Oftentimes, I hear this so much, when people quit drinking, they still live at the same home, typically, where they had the addictive patterns of drinking or the overuse problem drinking going on. So oftentimes, if we drink in the same place over and over and over again, for this example, maybe someone's living room couch, then even though we're trying to stay alcohol free after we quit, being in that same physical environment, a lot of time can lead to subconscious and even conscious cues, triggers, patterns of uh, addictive process circuitry, super highways, in fact, in our brain. And it can just one little thing could trigger us to go into that screw it, I'm going to drink mode when before that, we were doing well alcohol free and it's hard enough as it is to break out of our own daily subconscious autopilot that is the automatic mostly unconscious performance of our routines brushing our teeth and eating breakfast going through the day all the different habits that we have throughout the day quitting alcohol can be difficult for a lot of different reasons one of which is it's just an ingrained habit loop that is in our brain so anyways here are some ways that you can crowd out alcohol I'm not showing you any of this show and tell stuff to recommend that you do all of these or even some of these or any of these. This is just to give you some examples of what crowding alcohol in your physical home environment could look like. Also, we talk a lot about supplements on this show and we've been doing some cool episodes on that. So I have just a couple supplements to talk about. However, most of the things I'm going to be sharing are non-ingestibles, things that you can crowd out alcohol with at your very own home. You may, you might already have several of these things in your home, but maybe they're out of sight, out of mind, or maybe you're just in the pattern of doing other things like going on YouTube, drinking alcohol, or you know, going eating fast food, or putting some, not getting back on your diet, whatever that is. Hopefully, this can serve as not only a resource educational video, but also as somewhat of an inspirational and empowering video. In case, like I said, you have some of these things and you just needed a little kick in the butt to get back to using them so here we go without further ado number one I have I'm not showing you this book for the book I have a book a book light this is a amber book light that clips right onto your book so this is something instead of drinking wine for example in the evenings after work you could take a nice hot bath or a cold shower and then go get in a cozy blanket and put a nice amber book light on a book and read. Another thing is essential oils. This is a great way to optimize your home environment. I have a value size of organic lavender essential oil and a value size of organic peppermint essential oil. And what I do with those is I put about five or six drops or anywhere from four to six drops of each into this right here, essential oil diffuser. This is a Dragon Herbs cosmic meditation uh, really cool light changing different lights you can have in different light sequences so that's an essential oil diffuser lavender is typically really mood boosting and also calming relaxing plus it smells great peppermint uh, is more kind of focusing antidepressant more of a kind of focus energy so i do a mix of both those so you have some energy enhancing stuff and some calming both elevating the mood and i notice a big difference when I'm burning my essential, well, when I'm using my essential oil diffuser, which I typically have in my office space right here. So that's just one thing. Uh, another thing to make your physical environment more optimized to crowd out alcohol and or drugs for that matter. This is a Shungite pyramid. In Russia, there's a lot of different uh, research that has come out in studies. Uh, and so since due to that research, Russia even has spas like health facilities where you go there to cut for like chronic burnout chronic stress, executive burnout type, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. And they have entire rooms, entire rooms that you go chill in is one of these features with this shungite. Shungite in the research is shown to help to really like balance and ground the body. They say that it helps to absorb, the shungite absorbs lots of negative energies and vibrations and frequencies. So this is a huge asset for myself 
uh, for my own. I, pu I put this in my office too. You could also put these shungite stones in front of your uh, your Wi-Fi internet router, and it's supposed to absorb a lot of the harmful electromagnetic frequencies. Let's see, so many fun things. What I want to go to next. This is a uh, work pre-workout powder formula called C4 Ripped Sport Explosive Energy and Cutting Formula Arctic Snow Cone Flavored. So yeah, I mean, this has a little bit of um, artificial flavors and colors, I think. But, uh, you know, I'm mostly healthy all around. So if I just have a little bit of this, you know, once or twice a week, I'll probably drink this. It's okay. High B vitamins. It has, this is really difficult to read. Magnesium, calcium, so electrolytes, it looks like, B vitamins. It has beta alanine, citrulline malate. Those are really good for muscle endurance and pumping your muscles up while you're working out, more water retention. It has CLA powder, L carnitine, and it also has taurine, 135 milligrams of caffeine, and a few other things. So, anyways, I take two scoops of this uh, before a workout. Not all the workouts, but yesterday. I hadn't worked out in a while and I was tired yesterday. So I did that, put on some motivating music, and I had a great workout and Papaya was chilling, watching me. All right, moving on to the next thing, to crowd out alcohol from home. A little resource you could copy, you might already have, or you could use to get ideas for your own physical environment. This is a Himalayan pink salt plug-in outlet light and bulb. Right now the bulb died in this, so I have to replace it. But I also have a big Himalayan pink salt lamp out next to papaya's habitat on the kitchen counter and i love mood lights for you know this uh, essential oil diffuser has really cool nights for light uh, for lights for nighttime the the himalayan salt lamp just really good mood setting you know mystifying your home depends on what you're into again these are just ideas that you could uh, use to get more ideas oh here we go i got these blue blocks i don't know which um style these are i forget the style there's a bunch of different styles for adults and kids. Anyways, these are my blue blocks. These are from Australia. You've probably heard of this company before or uh, at least heard of blue light blocking sunglass technology. So once it gets dark out, the more we continue to look at uh, blue screens, our computer, our phone, our TV, and other types of blue lights, the harder it is typically to fall asleep because once the sun goes down, if we have it mostly dark or dim, that continues to be adaptive to our environment. We were we evolved to start to increase melatonin after we stop looking at the sunlight. So these are ways, blue blocks are ways that after it gets dark out, if you don't want to get excess blue light, but you want to stay watching TV or stay doing something on your computer, for example, this is a way that you can still produce good melatonin and not disrupt your sleep cycle. Next, but not least, we have this is called sleep phones. This is um, a little expensive, actually. This is one of the pricier things here, maybe the most pricey thing. These were like $130 after tax and shipping. This is a very comfortable headband. I have the cooling technology headband. They also have one with a warming technology. Anyways, inside this, there's a little battery pack right in there. And this is, this is also um, Bluetooth speakers. So anyways, the the battery thing goes in the back, the charger goes in the back. You have Bluetooth earbuds, really soft, really soft ones. You can't even feel anything in there. And these are great for either, you know, sleeping, meditating, exercising, going for walks. Imagine having good sound, but not having earbuds in your ears that aren't that comfortable and maybe they'll fall out. Or like I have these big, I guess they're over there. I have a big clunky pair of huge noise canceling bass boosting headphones, but those have great audio, but they're not necessarily that comfortable. This is like pajamas for the ears. Mine currently uh, broke because I used it so much. I had it for like a year, and I, I put hundreds of hours into that, I'm sure. I love listening to music while I meditate, sometimes when I'm passing out to go to sleep, other times just for laying on the couch and relaxing and closing my eyes, other times when I'm going for a walk in the morning, day, or even evening. All right, moving on. This right here is a present that my older brother Tom gave to me uh, for last Christmas. This is an acoustic steel string guitar. It's called a Guild. And I just restrang this bad boy the other day. 
and the strings were getting really dirty so no matter how good I tuned it it just didn't sound in tune the the strings you know after you've put a bunch of hours into your strings they can start to not sound good at all and then it makes me not inclined and compelled to play guitar and playing guitar is such a great way to you know release emotions to focus on the present moment and to just have fun to get some rhythm going so anyways the other day when I was doing errands I went and stopped at uh, Mark's Guitar Exchange and I got a free pack of these Diodario uh, acoustic guitar strings which I've been using for a long time now and they sound great next thing I have this guitar pedal this is a Pandora stomp box I could actually plug headphones into this not even have to put it through an amp if I don't want to plug my acoustic electric guitar in plug headphones in and then there's all these different cool electrified sound effects in there so that's a way to crowd out alcohol and or drugs or whatever uh, with music next let's go on to this little supplement mix I've talked about glutamine on here and uh, we just did a cool uh, comprehensive video on glutamine exclusively the other maybe a week and a half ago so anyways L-glutamine I won't go into this basically amazing for alcohol recovery probably the number one supplement for alcohol recovery next we could add some of this raspberry broad spectrum electrolyte powder replenishing powder to the glutamine that makes it taste even better gives you even more health benefits it's a nice healthy drink that you could drink that's health inducing and relaxing and is not alcohol with all those side effects so anyways this is a good way to balance your blood sugar reduce cravings increase GABA um, and also plus much more with that L-tyrosine that boosts dopamine so let's say you put a scoop or a half scoop of glutamine half scoop or a scoop of the raspberry or another type of like lemon lime or cherry electrolyte powder make a nice little glass maybe you put a little bit of crushed ice in there stir it up with a spoon delicious and then maybe you pop in one or two 500 milligram tyrosine capsules maybe you swallow those or or even three or four capsules you could even mix the l-tyrosine by emptying the capsules into the same drink with the glutamine and the electrolytes so these are just all examples again Here's something else that's uh, very helpful. This is a water boiler. Really nice. Holds a lot of water too. I don't ever use that much. But anyways, this is a fast way that you can heat up water and it plugs into an outlet. I use that for making tea all the time. Really, really helpful. I love drinking herbal teas, caffeinated teas. Next, we have this Arctic Lights scented candle from Chesapeake Bay Candles Home Sense. This only cost me about nine or ten dollars at Target, and these candles smell really, really good. Depending on, you know, the one you get and your particular uh, brand of scents that you like, this burns for so long. A lot of candles that I was using before, really nice candles, but they would burn out too quickly, and I felt ripped off. So these I found are a great value, great bang for the buck during these inflation times where everything, you go to any grocery store or Target. Uh, everything seems to me like it's up 20 to 30%. It's like ridiculous. At least here where I live, that's what it seems like. Anyway, scented candles. Ah, oh, here's something kind of novel that some people might already have or might enjoy. A lot of people will probably laugh at. I used to. This is an Oracle card deck by Rebecca Campbell. It's called Work Your Light Oracle Cards. It's a 44 card deck that has been created to help you light up the world with your presence. By working with its five suits and connecting with your intuition, you will be able to start living a life in alignment with who you truly are. Here are the little uh, categories. Confirmation cards give you a quick hit of instant guidance. If you believe in this stuff, uh, I do. I, th I find it helps. It's just, it's all about um, connecting with our subconscious mind, it seems. And I believe in the subconscious mind. Action cards guide you on what action to take. Inquiry cards help you to tune to tune into the whispers of your soul. You hear that? Activation cards invoke healing within you. Yes, please. Transmission cards connect you with supportive energies. Highly recommend these for anybody interested in oracle cards or that already uses oracle cards. Great deck. Next, we got this indoor-outdoor basketball. Truth be told, I've been needing to uh, pump this up with air for a while now. My dad lives not even a mile away, and he has a pump. And I'm going over there today uh, to interview him for a podcast coming up. Stay tuned for that. 
So I'm going to bring this over, have him pump it up with air, and we have a basketball court right at the apartment complex we live at. I love, well, <laughs> shaky. I love putting on headphones, putting on some music, and going and shooting hoops outdoor in nature where there's like trees and fresh air and sunshine. I got music playing in my ears so I don't hear the airplanes and the traffic and all the loud noise pollution around here. Noise canceling headphones with some great tunes, shooting hoops. I don't, these days I don't go play and pick up games or anything like that, but it's, you know, shooting hoops is really, really fun. Next on the list, we've got a back pillow. Anyways, this is very, very comfortable. I use this when I sleep at night in this kind of 45 degree angle with a regular sleeping pillow on top. This can be put on a couch. This can be put on a, a specific type of chair that'll fit it. I'm trying to get it all in the picture here. Very comfortable. You could even put it um, on the floor with it against the back, against the foot of the couch or something if you want to play video games close to the TV, for example. All these fun things. Next is a high performance planner. This is uh, by Brendan Burchard. Let me just turn to, all right, so check this out. Very big, as you can see. That is a big daily planner. And you, you do it in the morning and the evening. In the morning, today's message to myself, and then you fill in the blank. Then there's 10 morning mindset questions with just a little bit of space to put a short sentence or even less for the answer. Today's top three priorities and goals. Tasks that absolutely must be done today person I need to lead or connect with today and how to do it well. And then it has an evening journal, six evening journal questions. And then it's got a, a six category daily habit scorecard. And you put a score of one to five in different areas, clarity, energy, necessity, courage, influence, and productivity. There's a section for notes. And there's also a big section for calendar for the day. So there's daily things, weekly prompts, and also monthly every month every four weeks prompts very cool habit planner journal high high performance productivity manual next on the list we've got kettlebells so i have uh i have these at home i have another one down there too i have a 10 i think it's 10 pounds yeah 10 pounds 12 pounds and a 15 pound one i usually just do those for uh shoulders nice high repetition shoulder stuff mid to high repetition arms so on days when I do workouts at home, if it's just a shoulders and arm day, or I want to do some like kind of core exercises and some legs and upper body in there all at once, but I want to do kind of a low impact, easy workout, that's what the kettlebells are for at home. And I have them in my living room, kind of like right next to the front entrance of where the hallway goes to. So I walk by them every time I leave the home. If I'm on the couch, I can see them. So this is so key about crowding out alcohol and crowding out other and or other substances or behaviors or even junk foods or whatever. It helps to crowd them out, to have a lot of different things, preferably all over your home, in your bedroom, in your living room, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in the shower, in the hallway, in the library, in the office, in the laundry room, like just lots and lots of variety of different things that you can do to have a great day to make your day better and better and as you can see this this is just not even the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg there's like infinite number of things that you could probably have in your home that could help to crowd out alcohol this is just a very very small uh, preview of some of the things that I have I have way more and at this phase I'm not doing it to crowd out drugs or alcohol I've transcended that a long time ago. At this phase, it's just for wellness, just for mind, body, spirit, wellness, maintenance, optimization, to be able to, you know, stress management, you know, to, to feel good naturally, to, you know, not be just too stressed out, burned out, and like feeling down. You know, in today's age, it, for a lot of us, it can take pretty intense proto maintenance protocols to feel our best. So for me, it's about, you know, feeling my best mentally, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, financially, all the, all that type of stuff. But for quitting drinking, it is like infinitely more important to have things to crowd out alcohol. Those first few weeks or months or days or years, depending on the person, 
you know, can be times where for the for the right person, maybe they don't need anything to crowd out alcohol. For most of us, we need some support. We need some resources. We need some help. We need some other options that we can turn into resources, tools, and even consistent habits that are ingrained into our routines and that can help us to continue on the path and not keep going back to alcohol. That's the quick fix. That's the easy fix. That's the shortcut. You know, the, you know it's, uh, yeah, it's fast, it's effective, it's available, it's affordable, it works, but that's the shortcut for a lot of us. We can actually just put in some work for, uh, you know, uh, in not a permanent span of time, but just, you know, put in some work, get some habits going, get some resources, learn some new things. And then it, it just takes usually a little bit of a shift to keep that up. But like the autopilot, that automatic habitual autopilot. And when we get triggered by stressful things, then all of a sudden that pattern of going to drink can be easy to quit for some people, hard to quit for most people. In which case, let's get back to these crowding out alcohol resources. Crowding out alcohol with a $50 super comfortable chair. All right, I put that down. It was massively big. Um, a few months ago, I was at CVS doing some shopping. And I looked through their chairs because I needed a new chair for my balcony. Turns out that is very comfortable for me personally. Really good back support. It's high up enough off the ground that I don't feel like I'm sitting on the ground. But it's not so high off the ground that my legs are like not touching or they're stretching to touch. So that was a great chair for me. And I can use it to sit out on my balcony and just watch the sunset, stare at the trees. I can bring my acoustic guitar out there and play. I can bring a book out there or a journal out there and read or journal. I can listen to music out there with headphones on or I can carry that chair down to the little nature preserve that's a half block away and I can go post up somewhere and just soak up the sunshine watch the birds watch the butterflies I could bring papaya down there with my chair and my guitar and I could go sit in the chair with a tank top and a hat on so I'm getting lots of sun shorts I could have my feet my bare feet touching the dirt so I'm getting anti-inflammatories and antioxidants from the negative electrons coming from the earth's surface uh, papaya could be getting some sun and fresh out, air out there. When I play guitar, she usually sings. She's like, chirp, chirp, chirp. So we could go have a good jam sesh out there. When I was drinking alcohol a bunch, typically I wasn't doing any of these types of things. I wasn't taking pre-workouts to go to the gym. I usually wasn't taking uh, very good supplement protocols, if any. Keep hitting this mic. Oh, here's something else, too. I wasn't playing video games. Uh, I rarely play this. This connects to the big screen out there. That's a Nintendo Switch. I got it for Willow for Christmas a few years ago. And she's got, you know, Mario Kart on there, Zelda, uh, some other games. I'm not sure. The only one I really care about is Mario Kart multiplayer. Bless you, Papaya. Papaya just sneezed. But anyways, yeah, when I was on alcohol benders, binges, or physiologically, psychologically dependent all day, 24-7. Typically wasn't wearing blue blocker uh, glasses. I wasn't using a book lamp to read. I wasn't even reading. I wasn't using essential oils. I wasn't picking oracle cards. I wasn't burning candles. I was, uh, I was playing guitar, actually, when I was drunk or when I was on drugs back in the day. That was, that was one thing that I didn't let. Um, drugs or alcohol crowd out. I still played music. In fact, I wrote a lot of my songs under the influence of alcohol or pills or heroin or a combination thereof. Anyways, last but not least on our list, I don't know how you'll be able to see this. Anyways, this is kind of ridiculous trying to show this. This is just a silver robe, very comfortable robe that I got at Target. It wasn't too expensive, maybe 30 bucks, which is kind of expensive I bet nowadays it's probably 50 for that same robe robe and then these nice cozy slippers which I think came from Ross dress for less these were probably ten dollars anyways so nowadays I can just feel really good focusing on simple things in life coming out of a nice shower or a nice hot bath putting on a robe putting on slippers you know putting after the bath that I could have had some lavender essential oils in there 
all these different things like we when we're drinking habitually many of us many of us can get to the point where alcohol consumes us it becomes the most important thing in our life or depending on the person tied with the most important thing or the second most important thing basically we give it too much importance there's a lot of people that could take it or leave it they drink every once in a while socially they don't really get drunk you know a lot of people that I talk to though and that I coach and that I correspond with and that I make this content for tend to use alcohol for stress relief to relieve anxiety to relieve depression or ADHD or to relieve boredom to make work or domestic duties more enjoyable less tedious and go by faster for energy for confidence for to forget to forget about the problems to get a mood boost for euphoria making cooking dinner more fun for making doing folding laundry more fun for making music sound better for making social occasions way more fun to reduce inhibitions and for a first date the list goes on and on and on and so the more we use alcohol as a resource for all those different things right the more purposes we have for alcohol <laughs> the more uh, it can crowd out everything else back then alcohol was my medicine my elixir of the gods my uh, my cozy like com comfort comfort blanket it was my shield of armor it was my uh, toxic relationship partner and much more it was I used it for so many things for energy for confidence for anxiety to make things not boring for depression uh, to celebrate to mourn to grieve to numb emotions to excel to boost emotions to amplify emotions to forget things to shut off all emotions alcohol al why am I saying it's so weird alcohol became my master of puppets I was the puppet and alcohol was the master so if any of this is resonating with you please give this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already done so if you have any questions about any of these resources that can be stacked together for maximum potential benefits and kinetic super effects on your life post them in the comment box below and thanks so much have a good one and take good care of yourself hi my friend Matt Finch here introducing the extraordinary flagship program created by Chris Scott the founder of fit recovery this is a one-of-a-kind online program for dominating alcohol through biochemical optimization mindset and more why continue to test out trial and error when you could follow a powerful and proven 100% customizable system get instant access to over 20 hours of step-by-step -step video instruction the ability to ask your questions of Chris Scott and his head coach Matt Finch that's me and the rest of the life-changing and transformation catalyzing features and benefits included in the program to learn more read or watch testimonials and get started visit fitrecovery.com forward slash course and to save an additional $25 use coupon code 444 at fitrecovery.com forward slash course